Hey guys, this is Gage and welcome back. Today we're going to do an experiment. You know there's dongles that let you connect an ethernet to your MacBook Pro that doesn't have it anymore? I was wondering, can you connect that same ethernet cable to a phone or iPad and actually have it work? So I did some tests. All that you need is a USB to ethernet cable, an ethernet cable to the wall of course, and a USB to lightning, and then an iPad, iPod, iPhone. And it turns out it actually works. Check this out. I'm impressed that Apple actually thought of this. Like, who would want to wire their iPhone? And where does this come handy? Why do you even need this? Well, I was thinking, what happens if for some reason your Wi-Fi router is not working, but a wired connection does? So you can still get that internet with just the connection instead of wireless. I tried this the other day. I was trying to download a very large file onto my phone and instead of it going over the guest Wi-Fi, which was extremely slow, I just had to hook it up with an ethernet to the router where I knew where it was and it worked 10 times faster. Uh, besides that, if you can find a use for it, now you know because if you look this up, then maybe, maybe it'll help. So I hope that helped you out. And uh, yeah, um, it's just an experiment. It's fun to do these experiments. And it doesn't matter if your iPad is in airplane mode or if the Wi-Fi is just off, it still gets Wi-Fi and it works really well. There's not a huge reason why you need to know this, but it's good to know if you ever need it, it's there for you. There have been some reviews that say you have to have an Apple device. It's not true. You don't have to have the Apple USB to Ethernet. I used one named Insignia and it worked just great. You do need power to it. So when you get the USB to Lightning adapter, make sure it has a port for Lightning port to get more power in so that you can get enough power and make sure you have enough power. If you're trying to charge up something small, it won't get and it doesn't get enough power it won't do anything, but the computer or the iPad will tell you that it's not getting enough power. So I plugged it into a laptop and it worked just fine. Ethernet speeds were great. All right, and that concludes today's science experiment with technology. Hopefully you liked it. Give it a thumbs up or subscribe if you're not for more. I try to post twice a week. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.